Ooh. I need that Renetti back so bad. <laughs> I need that Renetti. Hello everyone, I'm Bima Broccoli, a professional Warzone coach, and today I'm going to be reviewing Nixta's world record on Rebirth Island with 66 kills. So let's see if he's a cheater, and if so, what type of cheats is he using, or if he's just one of the best players out there. And by the way, I haven't seen this match yet, but I have already found something that's a little bit suspicious about Nixta, and that's been a fact since Warzone 2 actually, not just now. I will mention what that thing is when we're done with the video and we see how that thing holds up with his actual gameplay. We finally did it. We dropped 66 kills on Rebirth Island solo quads and broke the world record for kills. This is the most insane game of Rebirth Island you will ever watch and you won't believe how I clutched up at the end. That's for animal fries. I don't like the cheese on them. I'm not a fan of the cheese on animal fries. You know, likey. You know, likey. Bro, if you don't like animal fries with cheese, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. You're missing out. Me no like you, dude. That audio sounded so loud. That guy was nowhere near me. Honestly, chat, I might bump the brightness up. In the inside of, of prison is so dark. Already off to a great start, Chad. Already off to a great start. Fantastic start. Nice. Nice. Smash burger. Oh, I like smash burgers. I haven't really had like a mean smash burger though. You know, there's a lot of good smash burgers in LA. There's like a lot. A lot. Nice. Yo, hey, wait, wait why am I about to finish? It just, it, it just didn't want to pop. Mm. Oh, man, slam. Oh, my God, that guy got slammed. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Listen, guys, listen. Let's just start off with what I noticed so far. His attention to the minimap, or what the accusation callers say, he's looking at his second monitor for the wall hacks. He is noticing who's above him who's on the same level, who's below him. He's listening to audio cues really well. And that movement, this guy mastered his movement. The technique, the timing, plus the awareness, that was, that was a 10 out of 10. Chad, y'all saw that the solar eclipse is on rebirth. All right. Him cook. Good kill. Mark on the rest of that squad on your back. Beautiful. Let him, let him, let him. Oh my God. Oh. This is proof that he's not using any form of cheat, at least for aimbot. Why? Because if he's targeting his aimbot, it would stick regardless. You can see that he lost rotational aim misses just because of the smoke. And it kind of shows like the moment he was in the smoke, his aim pulled down way more than it should. Ah, oh, rotational aim assist, what a thing. Oh my god! The Renetti? Oh, dude, the Renetti's broken, bro. It is broken. This is giving me uh, the Hansiga Verdance vibe, chat. It's so blue, dude. It's The game's so blue, bro. Chad, do you like Nighttime Rebirth? This is this is uh, the first time they've ever done weather cycles on, on Warzone, chat. And again, here. I would say that he's not walling. Why? Because when he killed this guy, three of his teammates were under the map, well, under him. And he went outside and started checking down. The moment he heard somebody behind him, he instantly went back and started fighting this team. This, again, if he was walling, he wouldn't risk like that. He wouldn't risk himself like that, especially when he's going for a solo quad in such a high kill game. One above, one below. Nice. Oh my god, we are freaking crying right now, fellas. I don't want to smash shoot. No, I don't want that gun right to die. Hell wife. Nice. Oh my god, how many people are gonna camera this game, chat? 
Beautiful yeah, timing on that reload. Beautiful on. timing on the reload. Let him... Oof. Beautiful drop shot. Beautiful drop shot. Oh, fucking absolute dummy mode right now, chat. Absolutely ape shit right now, chat. Hold on. You don't like the solar eclipse, chat? Y'all don't like it? It's, come on, guys. It's cool, bro. Come on, chat. It's cool. I'm about to buzz. Huh? I'm about to buzz. Interesting. Great first game, chat. Great first game. First game. Guys, if you know anything about skill based matchmaking, that it's kind of manipulative. So the first match or two are usually going to be easier than the rest. Sometimes after that, it's going to be harder. Sometimes it's going to stick like that, depending on the time, lobbies, all that other statistical things that contribute to skill-based matchmaking. But if he's on his first match, it's definitely going to be an easy bot lobby. But that does not take out from the fact that there is one more sus thing about him that we, we shall see towards the end of the video if it's going to be a confirmed thing or not confirmed. Oh my God, I got to jump over me. All right, beautiful tracking. 22 with 30 up, oh my God. I dropped a 50 first game, you got five gifted. Oh shit, man. Let's go, let's go. One more. Oof. Oof. Yacht, yacht. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Let's go. I haven't even hit yet, chat. I haven't even hit loadout yet. We got 26 or 25 alive. And this is for more of the uneducated players. You guys are going to say, oh, he's wall hacking. Look, he shot at him through the, sky, uh, through the wall. He's just trying to track him. He has the occupation scan, so he just went with it. Plus, rotational images does work through some walls. Let's see. Nothing sus here. All right, guys, he has 26 kills with 26 people left, and he has the Renetti before it got nerfed. That by itself says a lot. The Renetti is absolutely, like, it was absolutely broken in that time. All right, and that way, the way he tracked him in the air, and you can see his aim going off and on because he's adjusting a little bit too much, whether it's horizontally or vertically, and then he's losing rotational aim assist. That shows that he's just good at using his controller. So far. Beautiful. Damn, Beautiful. We're cooking. Hold on, we're cooking. 60 bomb. 60 bomb chat. So far, shit, you are cooking, bro. You are cooking. Hold on, let him cook. Oh, help. Yay, bro. Ooh. Beautiful oh, awareness. Beautiful awareness. Okay, 30 kills with 20 alive, and we're in the second zone. So this could be 70 bombs. Again, he noticed that somebody's shooting at he's on the, uh, the same level as them while he was on his way to the roof, and he readjusted and came back to that level. That's just awareness. That's just beautiful awareness. I love that he's looking at the mini map that much. I love it. He rolled records. I lock in. You can see the aim like not being 100% in the same spot, going up and down, like even with rotational aim misses, which says I don't think he's aimbotting. I don't think he's toggling anything in terms of that. Just beautiful recoil control. Gotta go, I gotta go. And rotational aim misses. Bro, my game hung like a lag check that shit. So I'm guessing he died here. Same level. One more. My God, he's my fucking Renetti chat. Nice. He noticed that he's using a Renetti and his Renetti. If he challenged him with the M4 in the same spot, he would have died. He had to use the movement to make that guy at a disadvantage. Beautiful. Retreat, yes, beautiful. Reload, replay, reposition, the three R's. Drop shot, let's go. Ooh. I need that Renetti back so bad. I need that Renetti. Oh, Renetti. 
Go double the netty, bro. Go double the netty. Good idea, buddy. Good idea. Lock in, tell him he lock in. All right, he regained, he regained. He got it down. More people above. Hold up. How did he know this guy was there? Wait. I was looking at the mini map, so maybe he saw him. Yep, he saw him, he saw him, he saw him, he saw him. Come on, I'm dropping 60 here, chat. I'm 100% dropping 60, I just need to lock in. Myself, so key touch myself, but I'm on a roll. The cat is the same, bro. Oh, fuck, L life. I'm gonna buy myself, child. On it's a fire cell. Come on, buy spam your EVs. All right, so let's see. Let's see his money management if he knows what to do here. He should drop most of his plates. Maybe if he wants to put an armor box, that's like four extra plates on the side. And just spam UAVs. That way he basically has like legal wall hacks with like that amount of UAVs. Let's see. Ooh. 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 Just one UAV? Nice. Good knock. Good knock. I mean, I guess that's enough. He heard him. Oh my god. I hate where I'm at right now. That whole team on the roof is resing too. That's so mid. Beautiful. Beautiful. Damn. 48 kills so far. Holy. Holy. Let them respawn again. That guy's alive. He just rest everybody down there. Ooh. What the fuck? Ooh. That 60 bomb right here. 60 bomb right here. Why is he gonna get a jailbreak? 13 left. Maybe they pop some reses? Yeah, they got a buyback. Right? Hmm. Bro, I'm on the rats now, chat. He did, he did. I'm popping you, chat. Yeah, I pop those you, pop those do, pop them. It's so dark, bro. It's so dark in here, bro. All right. Beautiful. Behind you, nice. somebody's behind you. Or under you, well. Fuck. Chad, anybody know why you take gas mask damage? Just be world record. Tell me, lock in. Hold on. Because this game is bugged. Hold on. I need to lock in. I need to breathe and lock in. Beautiful. Nice. Good flex. Good rain. Good rain. He's pinging. He's pinging before he um, shoots. Good, good, good. 
Amazing buyback, Shaq. Where's he going? Where's he going? Nice. Holy, holy. Oh my god, Bob Pack again. This is a world record, Chat. Hold on. This could be a 70 bomb. Dude, just give me the fucking 60. Let's go, baby. 60 kills. Five kills for a record. Five kills for a world record. More bad backs, more bad backs, we'll be lit. Oh, dude, they're all fighting. Fuck. You gotta push, bro. You gotta push. You gotta get some kills. Don't push. <laughs> Don't push. <laughs> nice camera. Nice, 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 nice. Come on. Take their gas mask. Take their gas mask. I'll give you money. I'll give you money if you buy back. Ah, that's how he got the 66. That's how he got the 66. Come on, chat. One off the world record. Please buy back, you bitch. Is he not buying back? Oh, buy back, buy back. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're gonna drop world record. Oh my god. He actually did it, Shay. He fucking bought back. This is world record match. This is world record match. Oh, fuck. As oh long as you did damage on this guy, I think you are guaranteed the kill. First game on. That's world record right there, baby. That's world record right there, baby. Let's go. Let's go. 66 kills. That's the world record. I'm the fucking Reaper King. We finally did it. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, guys. Let me tell you what was the suspicious thing that I noticed about Nick's side. It wasn't even in Warzone 3. It's in Warzone 2. But let me start off with the positives. His aim, 100% legit. His sense, 100% legit. His centering, amazing. Movement, amazing. Overall, this guy is a highly skilled player and nobody can debate with that. But let me say something. I've noticed that you've been dropping world records almost every time there's a new map or a new game mode or something like that. Now, that could either be that you're that good and you are just insane at the game and it happened to be on the first match of every time you're logging on for a new day, which means that your lobbies are going to be naturally easier. That's what I believe. That's my opinion. But like I said, it's an opinion. It's not a fact. Now, this is what I'm going to say. It's not personally towards Nixta. It's towards every single person that is dropping high kills or world records, including myself, starting with myself. I think that every single streamer that's on these high levels should do a monthly PC check. Which means like, when I say a PC check, it doesn't mean oh, only show your task manager and that's it. That doesn't help. What you should do is have a very detailed, deep PC check that will show what progress are on, your, are on your PC or what have been on your PC. And that way you'll prove to people that you're not using a VPN, which is why I'm believing that that's a sus thing. I'm not saying about this match because you said it's the first match of the day, but overall, People have the rights to think that people are VPNing. And a lot of people are saying that, what's the sauce, Nixta? And this is where the second thing about you is. There's a lot of creators that literally just said, what's the sauce? As in, like, they're accusing you of using a VPN. Now, whether they noticed it was the first match or not, that's on them. Why would you block them? Why would you establish such a bad relationship with them? Just because they're saying something that makes total sense. If you believe something, you shouldn't be afraid to test it. You will either come out with a stronger belief because it has been tested and you came out righteous, or you're going to be wrong and learn something new. Or in this case, you are using a VPN. I don't know. But overall, my opinion, I don't think he is. This guy is just insane. He's insane. I also saw that you showed your geolocation as proof that you're not using a VPN. But to be honest, that is not enough of a proof because most, if not all VPNs these days that help you get bot lobbies will keep the same geolocation while messing with SBMM and giving bot lobbies. So this one does not help or add up to your case. Now, why am I saying that these requirements should be on every single high tier player? Because look at, for example, natural bodybuilding. They are all tested for steroids so they can prove that they're actually natural. What's wrong with doing the same thing for gaming? 
it's literally the same exact thing. So next time you're watching this, I suggest that you have a deep PC scan every month or two and just post it on a Google Drive link for the haters. And if somebody comes in and asks respectfully and you have the time and you're able to just show your task manager or something like that, and if they come in a disrespectful way, like they come at me, I'll tell them, put your money where their mouth is and make them, let's say, bet 10, 20K, I don't care, a certain amount of money. That's the best way to shut up the haters. But overall, I think this guy's legit. He's skilled and GG's and congrats on the world record. And that was it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you want me to break down every single detail he did in this game in terms of movement, sentinel, and awareness, like every single minor one, let me know down in the comments so you can learn how to drop high kill games just like him.